Welcome to Homemaker Living. Thanks for joining us today. You've tuned into our garden shed build. We just got back from the home store with a load of insulation and Doug has already gotten busy on the project. I'm heading back out to the shed. Doug uh, went out this morning and he finished the insulation so he could get on to the next project, which is putting down some floorboards. And uh, as you can see, we got more snow. Everything was melted. The garden, we were down to bark and grass. It snowed twice this week. And yesterday it snowed all day and we got another six inches. Not as cold though. It is um, 41 degrees now, so it's a little bit slushy. But still, the garden is completely covered again. I think the boxes are starting to melt off, but they're still frozen. I checked the garlic the other day and it is still frozen solid. I wanted to uncover it and get all the leaves off of it, but still frozen. So now we're gonna meet up with Doug. There he is, gathering up materials, I think, for his work. Say hi. <laughs> that's the guy that's making it all happen. Got a little bit of blue sky today. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Let's see the insulation done. And what his next project is. Oh, that looks really nice. It does make it look one more step finished. We're getting there. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, so what his project is next is, so this these floorboards here are reclaimed plywood from a farmer that was moving out of state and he was getting rid of a bunch of odds and ends and wood. And so we went to his place and secured a number of things. And one of it was this uh, plywood. And then after Doug installed it, it worked fine. And it's actually good, we'll have two layers, but he feels it's a little spongy because obviously it's older wood. And so we picked up this OSB and he's gonna go ahead and throw that down uh, to get a little bit more firmness in the floor before we put the flooring down. We do have the flooring, but that'll probably be one of the last things we do. So he's gonna do the flooring, or I, excuse me, he's going to do the um, OSB on the, uh, on the floor now. And then he's going to move to doing the ceiling with some of the metal roofing that he secured from a friend of a friend that he helped uh, clean out a shop. I thought it would be kind of cool to use it on the ceiling. So let's go see if I can see that, um, where that's located take a peek at that in his, what I call his boneyard. Um, I think it might all be covered up. Oh, no, here it is. Here it is right here. Kind of going for, you know, a rustic look. Thought that would look really cool on the ceiling. And that's one less thing we have to purchase. So yeah, that's what that is. And the shiplap siding is, 
I think on this other side. It's nice that he's got it all covered. Considering all the weather we've had. Nope, I'm not getting in there, but it's down in there somewhere. Okay, I'm hearing some noise in the shed, so just got back from my walk, so let's take a peek and see what he's doing. How's it going? Good. So he lays one board for me on camera, uh, start to finish, and now he's on to the next board. We'll pick it back up when I guess he's all done because it'll just be more of the same. Doug just popped in the house and said he's finished laying the OSB, so I thought we'd just come out, take a quick look, and wrap up this video. Yep, it's an OSB floor. Oh, wow, that feels really good. Nice and solid, not spongy at all. Yeah, he knew that needed to be done. It looks good, feels good. Thanks for joining us today. And if you like the content of this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel so you can follow along as we finish the inside of our shed. See you next time, bye.